This is Ralph Peterson from the Daily Entertainment Guide. There is nothing I love more than to walk outside of my home and find a fresh pile of poo waiting there for me to step in. I just love the fresh scent of dog shit early in the morning. And so is getting rid of stress. That is why we have video games and sex and parties with lots of naked women and booze. Lesbians. Hot bitches with apple-shaped asses and blowjobs. Porno movies. What makes you think I want to smell your shit? Are you even aware of how bad it smells? For heaven's sake, flush the damn toilet so I can breathe without passing out on the bowl. NASA needs to start searching for intelligent life on this planet and not on Mars. <laughs> if a man does not have an orgasm for 60 years and suddenly decides to try, will it work or will the end result be a pile of dust? <laughs> If you can do it in real life, then what the fuck do you need Photoshop for? I mean, really now. That is the last time I help anyone. His family is probably considering locking him up in a mental institution. That would not surprise me at all. He is nuts. A crazy internet fool. But we all love him. Nuts. Yeah. First signs of crab cock include swelling of the testicles, brown or green urine, Crab like tentacles protruding from the shaft of a penis. Here is an illustration drawn by one of Crab Cock's victims just before he went into a state of shock. <laughs> Ian Crossland considers himself to be a deep person. Deep into LSD, maybe. Deep into his own mind and he is drowning in his own thoughts. Locked in a world of fiction where the answers that are provided for him just do not add up. So, in turn, Mr. Crossland subjects his audience to incoherent babble. Just a load of meaningless dribble for the sake of hearing himself speak. Anyway, my prostate is just fine. I only wish that the doctor used a rubber glove and some Vaseline. That son of a bitch. My ass is killing me. <laughs> that was man flatulence. Don't treat him like he's got a vagina afterwards. He's not one of your girlfriends that you can bullshit to about your petty problems and cry about the asshole boyfriend that you hate yet you're still getting the shit fucked out of by. You might as well castrate him. As far as you are concerned, he has no penis. Admit it. You do not feel anything for him because he is not your type. Not man, animal enough. But he is always there like the tool that he is, and you think it is sweet. Bullshit. Thank you. This is Ralph Peterson signing out. Goodbye.